Hey, this is Johnny Mealy, volleyball coach here in Salt Lake City. I'm going to talk to you about how to tip or dink a volleyball. There's a few different ways where you could tip a volleyball or dink a volleyball. I'm going to talk to you about two specific ways. The first way, you take your approach the exact same as you would uh, for a spike or a hit. You take your four-step approach, same thing with your arms, same thing with your bow and arrow. You don't want to change anything because you don't want to give anything away to the defense. Instead of swinging through hard, and hitting the ball with top spin. I'm going to talk about how to tip a volleyball with your fingers. So when you go up, instead of hitting the ball on top of the ball and snapping your wrist, you're going to hit the ball on the middle, just slightly underneath the volleyball to give it enough lift, enough loft to get over the blockers and land somewhere in the middle of the court. A lot of times a tip isn't effective unless it's used interspersed uh, between spiking the volleyball hard with topspin. Another way that I want to talk about how to tip a volleyball is using the knuckles. In different volleyball leagues in the beach, it's illegal to tip open hand, uh, to tip a volleyball open hand, so players use their knuckles. Again, same, same thing with your approach. You want to make the uh, four-step approach, same arm swing. Again, you want to get your bow and arrow. As you come through to hit the volleyball, you make a fist. You want to make sure that you have either two or three knuckles. I like to use two knuckles to hit the ball, again, on the bottom and middle of the volleyball, giving it height to get over the block and being able to direct it. It's important to make sure with your knuckles they're flat. The knuckles that you use are flat so that you can direct the volleyball wherever you want to go. This is Johnny Mealy, volleyball coach here in Salt Lake City, talking to you about how to tip or dink a volleyball.